Well, an emotional scene for sure as crews rushed in last night, early this morning rather, trying to save that mother and her little girl. And now investigators are wondering if this fire set was intentional. Trapped inside were 41-year-old Rebecca Pletniewski and 8-year-old Olivia Schneider. An alert neighbor called 911. While fire crews searched to get both victims out, we have learned there was no working smoke detector in that home. Somebody did uh, smell and see smoke and they did report it, um, but obviously it's not quite soon enough. Plutnewski was found on the first floor. Firefighters had to go to the second story of the burning home to rescue young Olivia from the home. Tragically, she did not survive her injuries. She was a third grader at Landon Elementary where counselors were needed to help classmates deal with that tragedy today. As for how this fire might have started, the fire chief told us a person was taken into custody, but an arrest has not been made. Chief Elliott says a tragedy like this takes a toll on everyone, including firefighters. We're going to provide them some uh, criti critical incident stress debriefing tonight uh, just so they can uh, talk about it and if they have any issues they can talk to a professional about it. Especially two days before the holiday. Thanksgiving's you know right right there and tonight he's hugging his little ones. A little tighter. Now investigators are still trying to figure out who or what started this fire. Live in Mayfield Heights, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.